So we have been seeing some different highlight videos outside of Reed Shepard's getting posted to Kentucky basketball social media. And if you slow them down, if you if you kind of pay attention to who's on the white team, who's on the blue team, what's going on here, I think that there are some interesting notes that we can take away from these rotations, so to speak. Before I get into it, I just wanted to reiterate again, is this going to be how Kentucky looks when the fall comes around? No, Aaron Bradshaw is going to be healthy. It's going to add, I think, a different dynamic to this team, especially with how they want to play their bigs. Right now, they're being forced to play Trey Mitchell. Are they going to do that as much as center at center uh, in, in the fall? I'm not sure. Global Jam is going to be a very interesting time regardless. So let's just kind of take what we can get at this point. So uh, at the at the in the first video that Kentucky posted, having a stroke per usual on the podcast, in the first video that Kentucky posted, this was the lineup with the with the um, with the white team. You had Rob Dillingham, Justin Edwards, Antonio Reeves, Uganda Onyenzo, and then I believe you had Brandon Canada at some point in there on the white team. Reed Shepard was on the white team as well at some point, swapped from the blue. Antonio Reeves was also on the blue team at one point. He swapped from the white. In the on the blue team, though, you saw Jordan Burks, Adu Thiero, DJ Wagner, Joey Hart, and Reed Shepard. Again, Shepard swapped. So a couple of things to note here. You, in these three videos, you never saw DJ Wagner and Rob Dillingham wearing the same color jersey. They were always on opposite sides of the team. Red, or excuse me, not red, blue or white. And you typically saw Rob Dillingham wearing white. And I don't know if your ones are your whites and your twos are your blues, or your ones are your blues and your twos are your whites. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the lineup with Justin Edwards, DJ, or Justin Edwards, Rob Dillingham, you got on Yenzo, Antonio Reeves, that's probably your ones. At the very least, it's the guys that you feel, or it's partially some guys that are older on the team and partially some guys that I think you feel pretty confident in at their respective positions. This is a conversation that you and I have been having for quite some time this uh, this offseason about where DJ Wagner and Rob Dillingham are going to play. Obviously, Kentucky has to make a decision here as to whether or not they start Rob or Wagner at point guard. I'm going to continue to say I like Rob Dillingham at point. Some of you disagree with that in the YouTube comments. Some of you say that it is what's going to happen for UK. I just like the way that he operates at point guard, and we're getting to see him run with primarily what we expect to be the starters this upcoming season as the number one. At least it looks like And Now you see in different, in different clips, you see him off ball, you see him doing different things, but he's not going to have the ball in his hand all of the time. You also get to see DJ Wagner block his shot at one point here uh, in, in one of these videos. So Wagner and Dillingham are not on the court at the same time? Is it because Kentucky feels like they're trying to figure out this battle and so they're splitting them up between teams? Is it because that they knew heading into this that they're never going to have the two on the court at the same time? And so they're just trying to figure out where their roles are respectively with different players that they're mixing and matching during through during um, during practice here? I don't know. I'm just speculating here. But what we can note is that they're not on the same teams. So just take that for what it is. Before we move along to the second and third videos, 24-7 Sports today released an article just strictly predicting Kentucky starting five. Brad Crawford did it. If you want to go check it out, it's over on 247sports.com. DJ, DJ Wagner is at the two in this starting lineup. According to Brad Crawford, he thinks that it'll be Rob Dillingham, DJ Wagner, Antonio Reeves, Justin Edwards, and Trey Mitchell as the starters this upcoming season. <sighs> I think that Aaron Bradshaw is going to be your starting power forward. If John Calipari was as excited as he was earlier this offseason about playing Hugo and Bradshaw, one and two, seven footers on the court, I can only imagine he's going to take that opportunity to run with that as a starting lineup. Now, is it going to get a ton of minutes? I don't know, considering Trey Mitchell exists. But I just don't see Justin Edwards at six foot seven in a starting lineup sliding down to the four. He's a wing. He's a small forward. Brad Crawford said Justin Edwards is going to have to play the four. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Not with a healthy Bradshaw in your lineup. If even if you don't have Bradshaw in your lineup, I still don't see Justin Edwards at the four. I see Trey Mitchell at the four because Trey Mitchell can handle the ball and he can shoot. He's also got a little bit more weight on him and he's also taller. 
why not let that be your power forward? He's a solid power forward. And then let you go be your center. I, I, I don't understand why that's the decision from 24-7. Again, I also, I like Wagner at the two. I really like Wagner at the two. But you also have the questions of whether or not Antonio Reeves ends up getting a start at the two. And if he's starting somewhere, it's either the two or the three. And like we've just previously discussed, Justin Edwards should be at small forward. So I just don't, I, I like the lineup. Let's be clear. I think it's going, it would be a good lineup. It'd be a solid lineup. I just don't see the reason that you wouldn't put out your sophomore center that's put on 20 pounds and looks like a tank. By the way, him and uh, Hugo and Adutiera look look insane compared to where they were last year, been getting their weight up, obviously, in the, in the, in the gym. But I don't see why you wouldn't put a 6'11", 7'0"-foot player at center, put your 6'9 guy at power forward, put your 6'7 guy at small forward, and then have one of the best backcourt tandems in the country. Like, like just let it rock. Whether that be Reeves and Dillingham, whether that be Wagner and Dillingham, um, whether it be Wagner and Reeves, you could you could mix and match here. It doesn't really it doesn't really matter. But I'm I'm in disagreement with twenty four seven Sports' lineup because I think that there are different things Kentucky's going to end up doing with this unit. Could that be how they do it for Global Jam? Sure, that could be a lineup they throw out. They could start Brennan Canada for all we know. We don't know. We'll just have to. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. In the second video with the white team, you saw Rob Dillingham, Reed Shepard, Trey Mitchell, Jordan Burks. I did not catch the fifth player there. And then in the uh, in the in the <laughs> uh, for the blue team, I'm so sorry. I'm just trying to read through my notes here. In the in the blue team, you had Antonio Reeves, Justin Edwards, Adu Thiero, and DJ Wagner. So again, only got four players for each team there. And once again, you'll notice Rob Dillingham, DJ Wagner on different teams. Justin Edwards now with the blue team with Antonio Reeves and Adu Thiero. Maybe it is truly just mixing and matching between these two different point guards and trying to figure out how they want to run this stuff. Third video with the white team. We saw several players with the white team. Joey Hart, Reed Shepard, Trey Mitchell, Rob Dillingham, Jordan Burks, Reed Shepard also swapped to the blue uh, in the uh, in the highlight video for, I think it was just exclusively Shepard's highlight video, Justin Edwards, Hugo, and Thierra were also on the blue team as well. So if I'm not mistaken, we're also seeing Kentucky split Hugo and Mitchell away from each other. I believe that's the, ca- the case here currently. So you're seeing your ones, so to speak, potentially, and your fives split. Is it because you're trying to lo- uh, run a balanced lineup in between different uh, in between white and blue in practice? That could be the that could be the case here. That could be the situation we're looking at. I just think it's very interesting to note that that's that's how Kentucky's approaching it uh, this off season with the with practice that we're not seeing yet. We're not seeing DJ Wagner and Rob Dillingham in the uh, on the same on the court at the same time. Now, could we see could we see Trey Mitchell and Hugo on the floor at the same time? in a rotation during the uh, the Global Jam? Sure. We could see Wagner and, and, and Rob also on the floor at the same time as well. Global Jam is going to be a really interesting topic of conversation for us here to kind of flesh out what these guys, not necessarily by position and by minutes, but what does their role look like? What are they within sets? What does John Welch add to this offense that we maybe get to see during this national or global event, I should say, uh, coming up here in just about, what is it, 10 days? I'm excited about it. If you've got any thoughts on Kentucky's rotations, what you've seen from the highlight reels, you can leave all that in the YouTube comments below.